Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, Shelby GT500. A lot of words, a lot of numbers, a lot of power. You know, the 500s weren't always related to horsepower, but in this case here, these cars are 500 horsepower. The 07 and 08 models, those are the ones that had Shelby's hands in them. Those are the ones we feel are becoming future classics already. And the reason why I say that is because uh, they were limited production, Shelby had his hand in it, and then you say, well, some are worth more than others, and here's why some are worth more than others. And for instance, this car here, this is one of only 913 of this model built, which makes it pretty rare. This car has been driven a little over 1,000 miles a year, which gives it ultra low mileage, right? And I look at it and I go, uh, how does somebody take care of a car this well? And it's just a one owner car, low mileage, low production figures, and that, my friend, is how we get to uh, future collectability. I love the fact that these cars are in the Shelby registry as well because uh, they're narrowed down to colors, some with stripes, some without the color of the interior. And you have a rare car when you have one of 900. Keep in mind they built uh, 91,000 Mustangs that year. 91,000. This is one of 913 and uh, makes it rare. I love the color. Uh, the, the metallic in this paint is fabulous. And I think that when you see this here, you'll go, wow. That looks really good. It looks great in video, it looks good in pictures, and it looks just as good outside. Here's another reason why sometimes these are collectible cars as well. This is a bone stock engine compartment. It doesn't have a single update in here. It's the way it rolled off the showroom floor. Original air box is in there. The engine builder's name is signed on there as well still, right? Nicely detailed. Even things like the uh, battery insulator are still in place. Like this is authentic and original. They're only original ones. And we electronically meter the car to uh, verify its authenticity as well. And this is why I think that once in a while when you come across a car like this, it's time to get it. All right, so functional too. This is nice because I like this call out back here. The stripes that wrap all the way down around here and the way they cut around this tag, they could have just laid it over top of it, but they made a nice cut in there. Just a little detail stuff that you see when you look at a car and go, wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why. It's these little things too, where the way also too, the stripes start all the way under the front spoiler, up over the hood, the roof, the trunk, the bumper. Mustangs do that the best and a real functional trunk. This is a big trunk in here, man. You can throw a lot of soft luggage in there, a couple coolers in there. You can go to the beach in this car. It is a great driving car, great running car, and it's a functional, functional, high-performance muscle car. All right, so come jump inside here with me for a second, and let's look at some things. These seats, for instance, like a lot of parts in this car, a lot of parts in this car are not made by Ford because it's an upgrade. For instance, the transmission is a six-speed made by Tremec, not by Ford, right? The seats are an upgraded seat uh, as well. Uh, the wheels uh, are special uh, alloy wheels. The front brakes are Brembo's. Like, there's some good quality bits in here. The stereo system made by Shaker. It's a Shaker 500. It's great tunes when you're rolling down the road. And then you throw in the 160 Speedo and the 7,000 RPM tech, and you know that this is a serious, serious muscle car. This has, you know, all the nice stuff that you'd want, power windows, cruise control, air conditioning. It's a modern, modern animal that rides along at 55 grade or 155 grade. Not that I know at 155, I just read online or maybe I saw a YouTube video. All right, so let's close up the video and talk about some of the bullets and high points, high points and bullets and start all over. All right, let's close up the video and talk about some of the bullets and high points. We talked about less than a thousand of these built. How many are left? One owner car. How many of those are left? How many, uh, almost all original, everything on the car, how many of those left? That's what I mean when I say future collectible. Like this is the car that will be the Shelby GT500 of the 60s because of the way it is. Nice documentation, two sets of keys, like all of that great stuff. And then you throw in the nice bits in here. Hand-built engine, right? Hand-built 500 horsepower engine signed by the engine builder, authenticating that. That big heavy-duty transmission and rear end, and not to mention just a powerful, powerful muscle car that can also cruise all day long that you could run to Whole Foods and pick up some groceries if you wanted to. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Shelby GT500. And if you would, don't forget to share this uh, video with your friends. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel so we can send you some more content.